Naimbang nga aldaw yung amin. Good day everyone, my name is Teacher Casey and for today's video, we're going to show some activity. is all about the poor balance and coordination poor balance or in coordination so sometimes these children or children with ataxia has difficulty controlling their movement particularly writing doing some fine motor activities some even posture so some they cannot walk, walk properly they cannot balance their body so there's a problem about their um, balance, coordination, and the fine motor ability. Alright, other related, some um, intellectual disabilities. Alright, so I'm going to show you some activities that can help a child with ataxia. Alright, part one, I'm going to teach you first craft. Alright, so when we say craft, there are a lot of benefits when it comes to crafting. Right. Some some parents or some people will think, mm, that's only a craft. That's only craft. Um, it's just a waste of money, <laughs> waste of materials and everything. But there are a lot of benefits when it comes to crafting. Alright, when you do craft, alright, when you do craft little by little, especially if more intense crafting, your brain is functioning as well as your your eye visual and your movement. So there is hand and body or hand eye and hand coordination. So when you do crafting, your brain function, your eyes function, and your fine motor skills or your hands function as well. So there are a lot of benefits when it comes to crafting, arts and craft particularly. So most children do like arts and craft. So like me, I, I do love craft. So 
in my class, I always incorporate crafting. Yes, a bit. Some, some would say that it's a waste of money, a lot of activities are wasted, but there are a lot of benefits that can help your children, right? So, um, some also, the benefits of crafting can be redu reduce stress, it can reduce um, depressions, anxiety, they build their self-esteem when they made a um, very beautiful craft, they can boast this one, mm, I made this. Alright, so there's a lot of benefits when it comes to crafting. So for today, um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to teach you one craft that can actually help a child with ataxia, cerebral palsy ataxia. Alright, so the materials that we're going to need is simply just a ruler, a pencil, a seesaw, and any scrap paper will do. Alright, so for today's activity, we're going to make a little star with this paper and this materials. Alright, you can you can simply give the instruction clearly. Make sure if you're going to teach children with cerebral palsy, make sure that you give them a clear instructions because they also have a difficulty on understanding it. So make a clear instruction in teaching or doing when you're, you're teaching them to do something, alright? So please prepare your materials first and I'm going to show you how to do this craft. I call this one a little star. Alright, so um, for our craft, again, we need the ruler, the paper, the van paper, or any scrap paper. So we're going to make a little star out of this paper. So you'll be needing your pencil. I'll just use marker so that it's very visible for you, so that you can see it clear. Alright, so you have the ruler, you'll be needing one inch and a half inch. So here on top, you make one inch, make a mark, and then below, half inch. You'll be needing half inch here. Now, draw a line from your one inch to the half inch. Alright? And this will look like this. Alright, can you see it? Here on this side is one inch and here is a half inch only. Repeat it. Turn your paper upside down. Here, put a mark one inch. And then below is half inch. One inch, half inch. Draw a line. So you can see the one inch, one inch, half inch, half inch. Continue that one upside down again. On the other side, one inch and on the bottom, make it half inch. Half inch. Get one inch, the bottom part, half inch. Still half inch here. One inch, get one inch and then half inch here. Until you finish, until you, you occupy the whole space of your paper, right? You can see it here. One inch, half inch, one inch, half inch, one inch, half inch, one inch, half inch, one inch, half inch. Alright, so the next step is you'll be needing a scissor to cut it. Alright, so this one will keep your mind focused because we have lines that we need to follow. For CP, for child with ataxia or ataxia, it's really hard for them to cut this one straight. So, keep on practicing. Let them practice, practice cutting because this will help um, their mind to focus, alright? Their brain will focus on this one. At the same time, their eyes will focus as well. And at the same time, the motor skills, alright? So, this one, 
this skill also is very important. In doing this activity, you're helping their minds, their eyes, and their fine motor skills work together to make a straight line. So let them, let your students or your children to do this activity cutting. Alright? So let them cut until they finished. Still, they, this is good for every day. Let them practice this one every day. So you can incorporate a lot of art activities for a child with ataxia. But this one, I'm just sharing to you um, what art activity can actually um, help them a lot. Alright, let's proceed to the store making. So what we'll be needing is the strip of paper. Again, you have one inch and then half inch. So we're going to make a star. The first step is to hold the one inch. Hold the one inch like this and then circle it like that. It's like you're tying or you have a ribbon. Hold it like that. Wait, let me show you clearly. Like that. Alright? So you'll have like a ribbon and then the other side put it inside right. so you'll have that knot you'll have the knot do not press it just pull this one a little bit like this Make sure it is not pressed that very well. So you have this side. Okay, after that one, this is the back part. This is the front part. Now fold it backwards. Fold it back. And put it on one side. The opposite side. Fold it here. And then turn it the opposite and turn it the opposite as well and then here you have the last side you put it inside the opening so you'll have a shape which is one two three four five so you form a polygon like that and then after that one, it will, this will become the star already. So here, press one side, press one side, press other side, press other side here, and press the one side here. So after pressing, you'll have a star already. It's not that perfect. We can do it again one more time. So for the first time, it's okay not to be perfect. Alright, let us do it again. One piece of paper, fold it like you're tying a knot, put it here like you're tying, and that's it. Fold this part, make sure it is not pressed that well or very hard. So that later it is easy for us to put a star. So put it backwards, the opposite only. Fold it, the other side, opposite. Fold it at the back, the opposite side. Fold it, the opposite. Fold it, the opposite. Fold it, the opposite. Fold it, the opposite. And the last one, the last one part is to put it inside for a lock. Alright, after locking, after locking, you can press one side, up, press one side, up, press one side, hmm? press one side, up, press one side. See, it's becoming better and better already. So keep trying, keep, keep, keep on doing and doing it. So we have the little star already, we have a star. Later we can perfect it. Let's keep on doing and doing and doing it. Alright? 
or you can also do it small or short very very small you can divide it by two you can fold this paper I think the smaller the better if you master the big one you make the small one if you master the big one remember make the small one so that they can, can improve more right this one again step is to turn it put it inside as a lock and then form the shape already the polygon shape with five sides and fold now after that one fold the long one backwards folding it to the opposite sides this is the opposite fold it there the opposite is here fold the opposite is here fold opposite fold opposite fold opposite opposite now if that's the last I'm oh, sorry if that's the last you lock it fold it inside That's the last, and then press, press side. Press, 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 press. So we have a little star. So you can use this one, the stars, soon to design something. So let them uh, make, let them use their creativity again to where they are going to use this little star. Alright, so that's it. Find motor skills. This one activity can ha help the children improve their cognitive, visual, and fine motor skills. We have a lot of art activities. Maybe I can, um, we can make another video for it. Alright, so this is the part one. Craft the little stars. Alright, so that is one activity. A very useful activity or crafting for a child with ataxia or ataxia or ataxia or cerebral palsy ataxia in developing their um, brain functioning, visual, and then eye and hand coordination and then their fine motor skills. So that is one activity. I can share more activities in our next video. So if you want to watch more video, please so don't forget to subscribe our video and of course subscribe and then like so that you are updated on our next video so this is the part one we still have another which are exercises balancing activities for child with ataxia all right so okay guys see you in our next video thank you Freak out, I've got to see.